Hey guys, and welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this video, we'll show you how to easily add dynamic page numbers to your document within Adobe InDesign. So download the free template file for this lesson from the description below, and I'll pass you over to Rory now, who will take you through the process. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our InDesign template file we have here, we have set this very simple document up. You can see here we have a few different pages already created. Uh, we're using facing pages, which is what you would use for any kind of booklet or magazine, anything that requires double page or multiple page spreads. And this is the type of instance where you would potentially be using page numbers. Assuming this is the front cover, you wouldn't normally have a page number on the front cover. Cover, normally you would start your page numbering from the inner pages. So obviously I can drag out a text box and manually add page numbers that way. However, InDesign allows us a much more useful feature than that. We can actually create dynamic page numbers that will change dependent on the page they're on. So for example, I can click out a text box just down at the bottom of this inner left page here. To add a dynamic page number, I just need to go up to type in the top menu down to insert special character markers and then you can see we have current page number and you can see the keyboard shortcut for this is option shift command n or that will be alt shift control n on a pc so i'm just going to click this and now you can see down at the bottom we have the number two appearing in our text box because as you can see in our pages panel we are on page two if i simply click and drag this over to page number three you can see it's going to update automatically. So this is very useful and this is the best technique to use for adding page numbers. The only issue with the way I've done it here is that I've just added a text box to this page and I would have to continue to add text boxes to each page to get the desired effect. However, if we use master pages, we can do this much more easily. So you'll notice up in my pages panel, we have a few blank looking pages up here, one with the title none and one with a master. So if I double click where it says a master we have a double page spread here and this is basically where we can apply some graphics or styles that can be applied to numerous pages at once so if i press w on my keyboard to get my guides and margins up here these are the same margins we're using within our design i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to add a text box down here it doesn't really matter where for now i'll reposition this go up to type insert special character markers and current page number and you can see on this one it's just putting the letter A so this is just acting as a placeholder and it's because we're on the A master pages. Now this will also just use the default font so at the moment it's set to Minion Pro Regular. We're using Helvetica in this design so I'm just going to select Helvetica just so it matches and I'll maybe go for 10 point as well. We don't need it to be too big. Now this is where it's really up to you as to the positioning and styling of your page numbers. I'm going to shrink this box down and what I normally normally do is position this slightly underneath our bottom margin so it's just sitting below any of the content we have there. We can obviously add any other elements or graphics to this so in this case I may just grab my line tool here and I'll just drag in a leading line just to draw the eye in slightly right under the character here and I'll just make this a lighter tint we'll just say 20% I'll maybe bump it up to two points so this is just an example of what you could do. Now I'm just going to grab this so we're only looking at the left hand page of this spread at the moment so that's only going to apply to the left hand pages of the spreads within our design so I need to copy this so just command C and go over to my right hand page paste it in with command V or control V on a PC what we'll do is I'll just right align this text position it again down at the bottom what I'll do is position these the way I want them and then I will zoom out and just make sure these are all aligned correctly. So grabbing the stroked line on the left hand side then the one on the right hand side I'll just make sure these are aligned using my align panel and same with the text box. And now we have some nice consistent alignment. They both look the same. If I now go on to one of my double page spreads you can see these are now automatically being applied. So if I scroll down to the bottom corner 
corner, you can see we're actually getting the number two there as well. So this is a very quick and easy way to do it and it's going to apply naturally to all of the pages. Now there are a few instances where this can be an issue. So for example, on this next page, we have a dark image bleeding off the page and we can no longer see the page number. You'll also find it will apply to cover pages. So as I was saying, it's unlikely you would have a page number on a front or back cover. And this is where the master page with the title none comes in useful. You can see it's just a single page and all I need to do is click and drag this on to the pages where I want to remove any master page styling. So by letting go, you can see that's removing the page number. Again, I'll do this to our first page as well. As you can see, there is a page number there. So I'm just dragging none onto that first page to get rid of it. As for the page where we have the dark image and we're unable to see the page number, we can actually create as many master pages as we want. So what I like to do is just select both of these spreads up on our master page section here, right click on it and click duplicate master spread a master and it's going to create a B master. And now from this point, all I'm going to do is just change the color of this. So it was a very dark image. So making the text white is going to show up. I'll change this to an 80% tint and I'll do the same on the left hand side. It means if we have any pages on the left hand side that need the white text applied to it, we have this set up as well. Okay, so if I now go to the spread where this is the issue, now obviously the left hand page is fine. We only want to apply this to the right hand page. So that's where we can actually go into our master pages and just select one of the pages instead of both of them. So I'm just going to select this right hand page and drag it down onto the corner corresponding right hand page that we need to change. And you can see this is now updated and we can now see the page number clearly. And one last thing is you can actually tell which master page styles have been applied to which page by looking in your pages panel. As you can see in the top right or top left corners of each of the page thumbnails, you will see the letter of A in this case, or B on the page where we've applied the B style or the front and back covers. You can see there is no letter because they don't have have any master page styling applied. So this is another good thing to know when you're trying to figure out what master page styling you've applied to what page. So this is very easy to use and I'd highly recommend getting used to it. It's a great way to add dynamic page numbering to your document. So there you have it. This is incredibly easy to do when used with master pages and can really speed up your workflow in the software. If you have any questions, then drop a comment down below and we'll do our best to help. And if you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one hour training where we reveal our top five secrets to creating beautiful graphic design. So make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. The link is in the description. You're not gonna to want to miss it. I'll see you there.